My beautiful wife, Nyoma, and my two children, Reef and Leilani. But my spirit and soul is here on the scenes of Marupa. This is where it all began. My first big competition win was Surf About in 1978. And my surf surfing career took off from there taking me all around the world. But I always came home and I always will. You are all my neighbours, my brothers and sisters, and we're all here to celebrate Maroubra and exchange stories about the good old days. So I'd like to hear what you'd like to, to know. Right. First up, Larry, uh, mate, thanks so much for uh, making a trip over. Larry, of course, living in Bali these days. Uh, where, have you been getting some waves over there? Do you get much uh, tube time these days? Well, actually, I, I surf a place called Old Man, so it's quite appropriate these days. <laughs> the waves are a lot smaller than what you saw on the film there, but, uh, yeah, definitely get out in the water and um, with some old mates that come from Maroubra, actually. I, I get to see a lot of the guys over there. Yes, you, Paul. Yes, I see you too. <laughs> I guess uh, one of the questions I wanted to ask you personally, mate, was that, you know, you were uh, uh, such an inspiration to a uh, generation of guys that came out of Maroubra uh, with, with what you achieved, but who, who was an inspiration to you? I mean, who did you look up to? Who was your hero? Well, you know, naturally I, I looked up to Jerry Lopez and uh, Wayne Lynch, but, um, see... There was a lot of guys from Maroubra here, you know, that I used to get up early and surf with, uh, Kevin Weedy and uh, Kevin Davidson and Zach Ray and all those guys. So it was inspirational to me because, you know, they loved the sport, they were dedicated and passionate about uh, being and surfing at Maroubra and um, so I would have to, you know, say all those guys as well, you know, everyone contributed to, you know, me being the person I am and winning certain top competitions like the Fight One Masters and, and competitions like that. Look, speaking of uh, Fight One, Larry, I, I couldn't let you go without um, asking about some of the controversy that surrounded uh, those competitions in Hawaii where, you know, back in the day there was a lot of stuff that probably um, it, it, it went, it, we didn't, didn't have the same sort of media reporting, you know, so some of the stuff that happened behind the scenes and you hear Chinese whispers, uh, like uh, for instance in the, uh, in, in the final of the uh, pipeline contest where those, there was a rumour that the guys kind of uh, stopped from catching waves, do you want to kind of elaborate on that? Yeah, sure, why not? It's a long time ago. <laughs> uh, the guys are pretty old now, and I don't think they've come to catch me in Australia. But, um, yeah, the second time I won the Pipe One Masters, I had a, a few problems with a guy called um, Dane Kealoa. He, he attacked me and punched me uh, before the final. But... Um, the good thing about that was um, you're only allowed 10 waves in that final and um, he caught 10 quick waves and he had to go in and um, watch the 10 remaining uh, minutes of the final and uh, in that time I got two 10 point rides. So. <laughs> so that's history. But Regarding the third time I went to compete in uh, Hawaii, that was sick of me by the I can tell you. Uh, the, um, you know, I was just training out a pipeline and this guy, Brian Surratt, I'll tell you his name, why not? <laughs> he, uh, he stabbed all my surfboards. Stabbed, yeah, I had three, four surfboards on the beach and they were all stabbed and um, this is before the uh, major semi-final and um, and in the uh, final there was six guys in the heat so uh, I ended up, uh, they surrounded, and me, surrounded me and 
they didn't let me catch uh, any lies. But um, that's okay, I'm not complaining, but uh, it's good to let you know what really did happen. And, and that's, that's the truth. Classic. Larry, I mean, those, uh, I, I look back on some of those, uh, some of the footage on YouTube the other night uh, when I was doing a bit of research before you came over, but I, what sort of boards have you guys ride back then? I mean, how big and how thick and wide were they? Are we there? Is that our boards? Um, you know, I was on six eights, and it depends on the swell, how big it was. You know, normally seven, seven six, sometimes when it was big, eight feet, but we sort of had to surf for the times because um, there were six guys in a heat, and most of the guys like Jerry Lopez, Rory Russell, Jamie Aloha, Mark Richards, and they all had um, long boards, so if I would have went out there on a 6-3 or something, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have pulled away. So we had to surf for the times, where now there's two in a heat, and, and that's why you can ride a lot smaller board. Larry, uh, just as we uh, start to wind up, mate, I guess another classic moment, Larry Blair moment for me, was that final that you, uh, was it the final that you made at Bells Beach against Shane Horan, or was that a semi-final? No, that was the final. Yeah. Mate, that was, that was awesome. Uh, the uh, the Coke Surf about had no waves here in Northern Arabian, and uh, it was the richest contest in the world at the time. Were you the defending champion at that moment? You were. And, and they did an airlift and they picked it all up and they went down to Bells Beach. Tell us about that final, just with it. Uh, well, uh, I'll tell you what, it was cold going down there from from Sunday, Sunday Sydney, Sunday in the group. But uh, yeah, it ended up, um, they flew us down to uh, Bells and uh, I think there was eight of us left, but uh, I got into the final and um, was just picked at the post, you know, surfing on my back end. And, so, you know, Shane was a great surfer, so it was close. I think it was um, uh, 0.5, in the you know, it's close to it, so close final, and Shane was surfing, and so I'll leave it at that. Yeah, good stuff, Larry. We could uh, keep you here all night. Has anybody out there got a particular question that they'd like to ask Larry? Anybody uh, with a question, a legitimate question for Larry Blair? Put your hand up if you got one. Anybody? Yep, no, at the, at the front here. Sorry? About Jeff McCoy? <laughs> Jeff McCoy. Hey, I mean, Jeff McCoy, I mean, both you and Shane Haran were riding his boards at the time. The guy was uh, undoubtedly ahead of his time as far as shaping goes. Oh, Jeff's shaped fantastic boards for a Hawaii and uh, great small boards and um, the single fins, you know, they, they really excelled. He, he, he worked hard and um, we did really well over that period, there's no doubt about it. Yeah, Jeff, I still love Jeff's surfboards and, and I still ride them and uh, yeah, so, you know, great, he's a great shape and a good surfer too. Yeah, well, you know, of course, not just uh, Larry, but uh, even uh, Marty and a few of the other guys all rode the uh, McCoy's at Maroubra. Larry, we're not going to let you go that easy because uh, right now we've got a little special something, mate. Um, next up, we're just going to keep Larry on stage here. We've actually got Steve Wilson just around there as well.